Hey, what's up guys? This is iTech World 11, and this is my first of a new series, and this is iPhone at the Week, hopefully a series that will be uploaded on a regular weekly basis. This week is a game from the developers at Mediocre AB, and this is called Smash Hit. Now this is a free game, but there is an in-app purchase for $1.99 to get the full version, which I very quickly got, because it gives you some more features such as levels, checkpoints, and iCloud syncing. Now as the description of this app says, you're taking a surreal journey through an unworldly dimension with soothing harmony of sound and music and smashing everything in your path. This is a game that has great graphics, great colors, great gradients, everything about it is really nice, and there are also three options of quality, low, medium, and high. I found myself generally sticking to medium because you get a good mix of both great quality and great frame rates, which I found on a high, and occasionally there was a drop frame or a bit of a stutter. Now with this game, the objectives are simply to hit the crystals to earn extra balls, and if you get multiple crystals in a row, you can get multiple balls where it throws multiple balls at one time, and you just want to try to avoid any obstacles that get in your way, if you hit them, you lose 10 balls. With this game, you start on level 1, and if you have the free version, you cannot get checkpoints which every time you have to restart, but if you get the in a purchase, you can go ahead and get your checkpoints, and work your way through, and you can see there are many different levels. It actually goes much farther than this, on my iPad, I am on level 7. This is a pretty fast-paced game once you get into the deeper levels, and once you start this game, it's pretty addicting, and it's also pretty self-explanatory, but it does guide you through the beginning levels, so you can get a hang of this, and really master it and have a lot of fun. Now with this, you want to go ahead and hit as many crystals as you can, and if you hit 10 in a row, you go ahead and... Uh, get two balls at one time and if you get ten more you can throw three at one time and etc So it really does have advantages when you hit multiple of those crystals in a row And if you miss one you go back to one ball and you have to restart getting ten Now you try to avoid these obstacles and at the end of the level you hit the little circle above the gate And it will either take you to the next level or take you to another dimension in the same level So this game not only is kind of like a futuristic world But it's got a ton of different colors different schemes and different formats for playing and it's really fun. Now your goal of this video not only is to make it to as many levels as you can without dying but also you want to avoid the targets because if you hit one you will lose 10 points which is actually pretty frustrating. But with this game you really want to end with a lot of balls left or possibly even the ability to throw multiple at once if you've hit 10 or more crystals in a row. But you also want to make sure that when you end you have a lot of those left because you will be able to pick those up in the next level and it will save if you have the in-app purchase. So if you were to end with 80 balls, the next level you would have 80 to start with, or if you ended with 20, you would end up with 20 to start the next level. Now there's also an iPad version of this app, which I found is much easier to play, and it's great that they support both the iPhone and the iPad. So again, this is Smash Hit, a game I definitely recommend. It's very fun, very exciting, very addicting, and for free, but I definitely recommend getting an in-app purchase. So if you like this idea of a series, definitely give it a thumbs up and comment that you do enjoy this. And also comment some other apps you want me to feature and subscribe for more videos like this to come.